Hi everybody, this is Wicked Local Multimedia Journalist Wendell Waters. I'm deviating from my usual duties today to show you how to make uh, a festive holiday cranberry bread. It's one of my mother's recipes and it's a favorite in my family and I think you'll enjoy it. Um, I have got all the wet ingredients ready to go here, including the cranberries, of course, and the zest of orange, which is very important. I'm going to add in the, all the dry ingredients that I whisked together so that they're really well blended. This is something you do for many recipes, as you know. I'm going to mix these all up, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you uh, a little bit about this cranberry bread. Um, it is very heavy and moist, and it's best served with either lots of warm butter or cream cheese, whatever you prefer. My family, um, we, we, you know, we're pretty athletic, so we try to eat healthy on a regular basis. My brother and I play hockey, and although we know we're never going to be, uh, I guess, classified as thin, um, we try to keep our weight to a reasonable level. But at the holidays, all bets are off. We want all the fat and twice the sugar is what we say. Um, it calls for a cup of sugar. I actually add a little bit extra, uh, probably a cup and a quarter, because I like it extra sweet. All right, I think we're pretty well blended here. Now I'm gonna put this in my favorite loaf pan, which was a gift from one of my hockey teammates. You leave this in the oven for an hour even though when you take it out, it might seem like it isn't totally cooked all the way through. And the reason why is that while it's sitting on the counter, cooling just a little bit so that you can eat it, uh, it's gonna continue cooking a little bit. So my experience has been that when the hour is up, take it out of the oven, set it on a cooling rack, and let it cool just for a little bit, and then you're good to go. All right, so that's good to go. I'm gonna throw it in the oven, and I'll see you in about an hour. The cranberry bread has come out of the oven. I'm gonna take a knife and loosen it up. Let's see what it looks like. So far, so good. And I have picked out a nice festive plate that I got from my mom. Well, it's come out in one piece. That's a step in the right direction. Let's cut it. And there you have it. The best cranberry bread you'll ever have. You can find the whole recipe at wickedlocal.com.